Hey guys, this is David from Omega Engineering. Today we're going to be scaling a DP400S meter with a S-Type LC101 load cell. To begin with, we need to connect the load cell to the back of the meter. So if you look at the back of the meter, you'll see a small schematic. So seven is positive excitation. So take the red wire, use a flat screwdriver, push in through the orange plug. Take the black wire, which is negative excitation. Positive signal, which is green, is number 14. The white wire corresponds to signal minus or negative signal, so which is number 15. So now that we've wired it, let's go ahead and scale this meter with this load cell. So for that, we are going to be using our Android device. So make sure that you have your NFC or near field communication turned on in your Android device. Um, usually it's in your settings. Um, so turn that on. And once you turn that on, install the Omega application that is free for download from the DP400-S page on the Omega website. It's called the Direct Link 400S Devices. Once you install the app, click on the app and go to scan. Make sure it's scanning. You'll see that it's searching for a signal. Just place your phone on top of the meter, just like that, and it recognizes the device. And once it recognizes the device, you just want to go in and put the analog input. So in this case, click on the analog input. Sensor type is going to be strain gauge because it's a load cell. It's a millivolt per volt sensor. Now in this case, it's 3.000, so I'm, good. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Hit the enter key. You can select the number of decimal places you want. Select your uh, measurement units. In this case, I'm going to leave it at pounds. Select the full scale. In this case, the full scale of the load cell is 2,500 pounds. So I'm going to put 2,500. My low limit is zero, which means that at zero millivolts, I'll be reading zero pounds. Calibration, enable calibration as millivolt per volt value. And you can basically run through the other functions. You need not change anything else. Click on write which is the third tab on the top of the application. And it should say write complete just like that. And once you look at the meter right now, it says modifications effective only after restart. So just go ahead and hit select. It restarts the meter and boom, we're good to go. We should see a reading from zero to 2,500 pounds. So this meter has been set up to read this load cell. So there you have it guys. We have successfully scaled the DP400S. This meter has a lot more functions to discuss more about the functions or what this meter can do, feel free to give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out.